Right, so excuse the mess. Um, been hatching brightening, hence the DIY hatchery and all the empty eggshells. I'm not sure if you can actually see any still in there. Yep, there we are. There's an orchid eye. Right, so I've heard a lot of people stressing that they've got the eggs, made the hatchery and are stuck for a homemade sieve. Um, well, this is what I've done. The top part of the bottle that I cut off the base, I actually kept a section of it. And then I got an old pair of tracksuit bottoms with very fine material because they're usually waterproof, aren't they? And I've used that. And as you can see, there's my brine shrimp all sieving through. And what I can do, I can just sit it onto a saucer like so, pop the lid on while I continue siphoning out of there. And that will come through, drip at a time, it does take a while but it doesn't let a thing through, not a single one. Oh. Can you see any? Oh. You see them all there? All dancing about as I call it. Yep, thousands of them. Yep, that water there, completely clear. Like I said, it does take a little while because it comes through drop at a time, but it is very thorough indeed. And it will stop putting brine shrimp water into your tank. Um, if you've been doing this and you find that your fish are coming down with illnesses, um, this may be the, the reason why, because you're putting your brine shrimp hatching water into your tank, which you don't want to be doing. Um, this is basically what I have left. Excuse, this is a really old saucepan. But yeah, I mean, there's still quite a few in there, but they're only at the middle. A lot around the edges seem dead when I looked. Oh, and I can see a lot more in there, so I'll be putting them through as well. See, that's when I was trying, um, a lot of people suggested organza. As you can see, sopping red, <laughs> as is the side did not work. Can't stress this enough. Organza didn't work. Yeah, more air uh, nor ply was getting through into there than was coming into there. Well, going into the tank, should I say. Yeah, it has a bit more water in. Let me just zoom in. And then you guys can tell me, can you see a single nor ply in there? see if it'll focus but yeah all you do get a pair of old um waterproof tracksuit bottoms cut a section of material out attach it with elastic band and pop it on the top of the base of your diy hatchery if you've made one and there we go Hope this helps someone. There they all are. And yes, I know there's a lot of eggs in there, but it's only because it doesn't lose anything through. But lucky for me, I do have a skimmer that will take them right off the surface of the water. If not, then I do have a good uh, ecosystem in my tank, and you know, something will take care of it. If not, then my substrate vacuuming will. But yeah, anyone who's stuck for one, there you go. Enjoy, have fun, and thank you for watching, guys. See you next time, and stay safe.